Hello everyone! I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shikha and I welcome you to my channel. In this one, I wanted to speak to you about an Instagram post or a tweet that I posted on Instagram a few weeks ago. And an individual messaged me saying, can you talk a little bit more about this in a video? And it's kind of funny because I was, I'm reading it right now and I read it many times and I was like, this is pretty esoteric, but it seems pretty simple in my head. How am I going to explain it in a way that makes sense to people? And that's actually been one of my things recently is that, or the reason I do these videos as well is because a lot of times I'll read something and it's very simple and to me and I read it and I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. And then I'll, I'll tell it to someone or I'll you know, share it with someone. They'll be like, I have no idea what this means. Can you explain it to me? And this happens a lot with books as well. You know, I'll, I'll read a book and it'll just literally change my mind in a way that, in a profound way where I'm like, oh my God, I'm thinking in a completely different way. And I'll lend it to someone and they're like, I have no idea what this book means. And I have that moment as well when someone will lend me a book and they'll have changed their lives with it. And I'll be like, I have no idea what this is. I can't understand it. And so my thing has always been, all right, let's simplify, simplify. Let's make things easier for myself to understand and for people to understand. So I'll read you the tweet first. It's by D-O-Q. Um, that's the name of the person who tweeted this. And this is the tweet, and then I'll explain it further after, okay? So the tweet says, what if we all knew each other before we were born? We did, in brackets. What if someone, some of us worked on something that would come to fruition at this specific time, we are, in brackets. What if you were meant to be a part of this? You are, in brackets. And so I really love this post so much because there's so much, I mean, I could literally probably write a thesis on this post, um, but I'm not going to because <laughs> I'm lazy, but I'm definitely going to do um, hopefully a couple of videos on this because I think it'll take a couple of videos to explain it. The first thing obviously I want to speak to you about is what if we all knew each other before we were born? And this is kind of an idea which needs a little bit of preparation, a pre preparatory work, prep work, because if you don't believe in reincarnation, then you're not going to believe in this idea that we knew each other before we were born. And that's the unfortunate thing of it is that a lot of people, obviously a lot of you and will not believe that we were, we are reincarnated that we have several lives, that this is not our first life. Maybe it's your first life, but it's probably not your last. According to Hinduism, there, we have about 84 million lives or more um, as human beings. So, I mean, there's a lot that we have to do on this planet, a lot of learning that we have to gain and things like that. And I'm sure that number is wrong. I've been told this number so many times that I believe it's 84 million, but who knows, it might be completely different. But just to say there's a lot of lives that we lead before and after. So here right now, you might be at your 82nd life or you might be at your 84 millionth life, who knows, right? But if you don't believe in reincarnation, this whole post is gonna be useless for you. So I think if you don't, then I think you should switch off the video and go somewhere else. If you do believe in reincarnation, then you're gonna realize that there are these spaces in between lives. And again, that's a very esoteric, a very abstract term, a very abstract idea to think about even, because it's hard enough for us to think about death. And then I'm telling you to think about the space in between lives. It feels a little bit too much, right? I love these planes because they give me a little bit of time to think over these ideas. Um, so there are these spaces in between lives and there's a very particular purpose for the lives and for the spaces in between lives and for death. Everything has a purpose. There's no, there are no excuses. There are no coincidences. There's nothing random. Everything happens for a reason. And so the purpose for life, obviously, is to gain experiences and to learn for our soul to get all these experiences, for it to learn, for it to grow, for it to learn from its mistakes and not repeat them and all that. There's a lot that happens during our life. 
The purpose for death, obviously, is that so we can go back into that little space in between lives and recuperate. Kind of like um, a place in between, you know, when the cars are going round and round and racing each other, there is a pit stop that they make in order to clean up the car, not clean up perhaps, but you know, put in gas and things like that. Basically, the, the space in between lives is like that pit stop. You're going in and you're getting rejigged and you're kind of getting some lessons and you're realizing, talking to your guides, oh, I missed this particular lesson or this is what I was supposed to study and that's what, I'm on, that's what I want to study next and things like that. And a book that I'd recommend for this that I really liked was Conversations Between Life and Death um, by Dolores Cannon, D-O-L-O-R-E-S-C-A-N-N-O-N. I'll link her below if I remember. But she actually has a very good perspective on it because she speaks to people by hypnotizing them and kind of t regressing them and taking them into these spaces in between lives. Now again, um, the stuff that I'm talking about in this video is very esoteric, very out there. And you're probably going to think, oh, I, I think she's gone off the deep end or she's gone cuckoo. And that's okay, of course. You know, that's all right. If you believe that, please just forget about this video and go on to something else. So we go into these little spaces in between lives to learn about what lesson do I want to learn this time around? To what do I want to do this time around? What do I want to, who do I want to ha hang out with? Who do I want to learn from? Where do I want to go? Where do I want to stay? Where do I want to live? We come up with all of these ideas, all these suggestions for our next life. And then once we have an idea of where we're going, we go on to our next life, right? And so we have these spaces and we learn and then we're, creating a lesson plan of sorts, right? <laughs> the spiritual guide that helps us creates these, helps us create these lesson plans. We do it ourselves, but we get guidance from the spiritual guides. And then we come in and then we create, we, we go through the lesson plan. So a lot of the lesson plan actually includes, you know, who are we gonna learn from? And in Hinduism, there's this tenet or idea that the people that you're surrounded by, your family, friends, other people they're there in your life for a reason they're supposed to be teaching you something they don't actually randomly drop into your life and they're like all right i'm here now and that's cool and that's it right your father came into your life for a very particular reason your mother came into your life for a very good reason she wants to teach you something your brother or sister whoever it might be all of them are in your life to teach you a lesson and you're supposed to not only learn from each other but teach each other lessons as well so i'm here to teach my family something they're here to teach me something and of course we can only get those lessons if we kind of slow down enough and meditate upon it or reflect upon it ponder upon it etc <gasps> oh my god that little fly looked huge right next to the camera so what if we all knew each other before we were born that was the first question that he asked doq or she and we did we really did because if you believe in reincarnation again um because that space in between times we actually meet up with the people that some, somehow we're supposed to end up around now of course we could die earlier so then for example let me give you an example in my family so i have my father and mother in my family and my brother and sister we're all alive at this moment in time but i could be dead tomorrow and then what happens is that i go into that space in between time and then my guide is like, well, you still have more to learn from your family. You didn't learn all of it. Maybe it was a freak accident. Maybe who knows? Like, I have no idea what happened. Maybe it was uh, I decided to come back early and they're like, nope, you need to go back and learn more. And so I could come back as my brother's daughter or my sister's daughter, you know, or a cousin or something like that. I could come back into this family and learn again from them the lessons that I missed. A lot of times what they also say is that we meet up with people before we're born in that little space of time and we all kind of born in different parts of the world and then we meet up and we teach each other lessons and things like that. So obviously there's a lot of different permutations and combinations of this. It's impossible to speak about all of them in this video, but that's what happens. We knew each other before we were born or we knew of each other when we were bo before we were born. And we knew that we were supposed to learn from each other and that's why we're here in the space of time is to learn from each other every person that comes into your life is there for a lesson every being that comes into your life is there to teach you a lesson and we knew all of this we kind of made a plan of all of this before before we forget before we become babies and we're like all right i'm here what am i going to do now so all of this is happening in the background we're not aware of it physically 
but we're aware of it probably on a soul level, on a spirit level, right? The second part of the question, what if some of us worked on something that would come to fruition at this specific time? Now, I think DOQ is particularly talking about the pandemic, perhaps, but it can apply to any disaster, any kind of natural phenomenon, any, any difficult thing that's happening in our life. And as I said, we worked on something before we came here. We, we, we worked on this lesson plan and we sat down with our spiritual guide and said, okay, cool, so what should I learn this time around? What am I missing? And the guide could be like, well, you're very proud. You're still very egotistical and you really need to work on that. I'm telling you, this is your life. You can do it. And we were like, no, I don't really want to. But they're like, no, well, you asked me a question. I gave you an answer, right? <laughs> And so like most teachers, good masters, good teachers, good guides, they give us the answer that we don't want, but we need. plane break and they give us this answer this lesson plan and then we come onto this planet to work upon our lesson plan perhaps the pandemic is here for a reason as well not perhaps it is and it was in our lesson plan maybe it was because we were hurrying up too much through life because we were not paying enough attention to our loved ones because we were too focused on the unimportant things in life like fame and fortune and so the pandemic came and it's like a lesson, it's in our lesson plan, it was already there, we already worked on it, it was already there when we were born. And that's why we're going through all the different things that we're going. Nothing is happening by chance. Everything is a lesson for you to act, to learn from. <laughs> this is a lesson too. Um, everything is there for you to learn from it, right? So that's what I think he's talking about in the second part. What if you were meant to be a part of this? And that's very logically comes from the first two parts. Of course, we were meant to be part of this. As I said, nothing is a coincidence. Nothing happens randomly. Not even a beta blade of grass moves without some kind of function, some kind of purpose, right? And so everything is happening perfectly in synchronicity. And we're here for a reason. We're here either to contribute positively to the pandemic or to the BLM movement or negatively because both roles are necessary it's not like only the positive side is important the negative side is important too and so everything's happening and you're a part of it you're here for a reason it was already not preordained but written in that lesson plan that you had before you were born and your guides are in the background your guardian angels are like nudging you towards the goal post they're like all right this is the lesson go towards it you're not going towards it i'm going to push you towards it go 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 and eventually we're like all right fine i'll do it or we're like, no, I don't want to do it. And then we go back to our, that, the pit stop and they're like, well, I tried to push you towards that lesson. You didn't take it. Now you're going to have to do it again. You're going to do it all over again. And so we're reborn and then we go through the same kind of lesson plan and then we learn and eventually we're like, all right, I'll just do it. And we do it. And then we don't have to take that lesson anymore. But there's another lesson to learn. There's always more lessons to learn, <laughs> which is the fun part of this, I guess. So that's what I think DOQ was saying. Now, of course, he might be talking about something completely different. I think this is my interpretation of it, obviously. Uh, he's probably not listening, so he can't confirm. But you can go ask him if you wish. Either way, I hope this makes sense. If you want me to expand on this, um, unfortunately, I can't you know, talk more on this video because it's already so long. But if you want me to expand on it, please comment below and I shall. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. And I shall see you the next time around. Bye for now.